This is a semi-automatic action rifle. A semi-automatic action rifle or shotgun feeds another cartridge into the chamber from the magazine using energy created by the discharge. To prove this semi-automatic rifle safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Ensure the safety is in the on position. Remove the ammunition by first removing the rifle's magazine. To do so, push the magazine release button to drop the magazine. Then, open the action by pulling the bolt carrier handle to the rear and holding it in this position. Press the lever at the front of the trigger guard. Release the bolt handle. The action should stay open. Observe the chamber to check that no ammunition remains in it. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore visually or by using a cleaning rod with a tight-fitting patch or brush to ensure it is clear. Be sure when pushing the rod into the chamber not to hit the front of the bolt. Doing so could cause the action to close or damage the firing pin hole. The safety on this particular firearm is a cross bolt. A red mark indicates the rifle is ready to fire. Pushing the safety back places it in the safety on position. The data stamp on the barrel shows that the correct ammunition for this firearm is 22 caliber LR or long rifle cartridges. The name of the cartridge does not normally appear on the head stamp of this rim fire cartridge. So the information on the box of cartridges must be checked to ensure the correct ammunition is used. Although you may not be interested in using restricted firearms, it is important that you know how to prove them safe should you come upon them. This is a single action revolver. Revolvers have cylinders with chambers that can be loaded with additional ammunition, serving the same function as a magazine. In order to prove a single action revolver safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove the ammunition by opening the loading gate. If the cylinder will not turn freely, pull the hammer back slowly until the cylinder can turn. The hammer should stay back. Raise the muzzle slightly and remove the ammunition, if necessary, using the ejector rod. Observe that all the chambers are empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore by using a cleaning rod with a tight-fitting patch or brush. This is a double-action revolver. Like the single-action revolver, it has a revolving cylinder. In order to prove this double-action revolver safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove the ammunition by operating the cylinder release to allow the cylinder to swing out. Operate the ejector rod to eject the cartridges. Observe that the chambers are empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore. This firearm is a single-action semi-automatic handgun. In a semi-automatic handgun, additional ammunition can be placed in the firearm's magazine. This is called charging the magazine. To prove this single-action semi-automatic handgun safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction, and if possible, with your particular firearm, ensure the safety is on. Remove the ammunition by operating the magazine release and dropping the magazine. Operate the slide to extract or eject any cartridge or casing from the chamber. Lock the action open. 
observe the chamber to ensure it is empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore. During our discussion of firearms, we have referred to the rules that apply to each and every firearm. The vital four acts. Let's review them now. Assume every firearm is loaded. Control the muzzle direction at all times. The trigger finger must be kept off the trigger and out of the trigger guard. See that the firearm is unloaded. Prove it safe. To unload a firearm and prove it safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove all cartridges. Observe the chamber. Verify the feeding path. Examine the bore. Point, remove, observe, verify, and examine. Essential steps to prove a firearm safe.